Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Tonight we got a fun head to head. We got the Cobalt 24 volt high torque impact wrench against the rigid high torque impact wrench. So, you guys weren't too impressed with the junkyard video. I figured we'd switch it up, do a little bit different. We got some seven inch legs. Got a couple monster one inch bolts with half inch nuts on them. We're also gonna do a couple one inch auger bit tests into the pressure treated six by six post. Stick around guys, it's gonna be a fun one. Let's get right into it. Head over to the jaw horse. Just so we don't blow the six by six apart or four by six apart, I'm gonna drill a very small pilot hole. It's not very big. Otherwise, it's probably just gonna rip it all apart, guys. So first we're gonna do the rigid on high, fully charged up. Oh, it's down one bar, but it always was down one bar. I'm not charging these batteries in between tests. There you go. Seven inch leg bolt. See how fast you can do it. Ready? Get set. Wow, that took it down two bars. I feel like the rigid was way faster on that, guys. All right, guys, just for fun. Everybody always says, oh, there is no difference. We're gonna try the times with a standard battery, two amp hour, not the high output battery and see what it is. Fully charges up to on high, right? Fully charges up to on high. Maybe I can do these head to heads. Okay, ready? Okay, we'll try cobalt on the right, rigid in the left. I don't know if I can do these guys, it's gonna be pretty hard. Ready, get set. Cobalt cut out. See it blinking? My finger's still on the trigger. Look. Wow. The cobalt cut out without the high performance battery. Nice. Oh, oh, oh my god, look at that. Sucked down the whole entire battery. Oh, there it popped back up to two. I'm gonna take my one inch self-feeding auger bit, drill it into this two by or this four by six post, and at the end of this, of course, the half inch socket. So we're gonna use the impact wrenches to see which one can do it faster. Alright? Who's ready to pop some shit up? Alright, we've written first. Got one bar. That's crazy fast. That's way faster than the impact driver I've ever tested. Holy crap. Just so we don't bust up the 6x6 post, I'm gonna pre-drill just a small hole.
just don't want it to blow apart. Now, first we're gonna start off with the six O's. Fully charge up six on mode three. One, two, three. All right, ready? Get set. All right, fresh holes here. Okay. I felt like the Cobalt was really struggling with that with the standard 6.0 battery. So let's try with the four, the high output battery. Fully charged up, high output battery. And see that? On high, here we go. Ready, get set, go. Play charged up, three, on the rigid. On high guys, here we go, with the high off the battery, ready, go. The rigid is significantly faster, guys. Wow. All right, guys, I figured we try this. I don't know if it's guaranteed to blow them up or not, but since I wasn't able to do the bolt test, I have to get a piece of steel. Let's dock these mother effers and see what happens. All right, safety goggles, safety shield, muffs. All right, cobalt's fully charged up. The rigid's fully charged up. Guys, I hope this doesn't explode and kill me. If it does, I love y'all. Here we go. I'm scared. Ready, get set. Ah, it's slipping. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm just stripping the inside of the socket right here. He's got way too much power. Reverse, forward. Yeah. I think I tore the socket up pretty good. Well, that was a bummer. Anyways, these are kind of expensive to break. Cobalt still works. Rigid still works. All right, guys, there you go. Hope you had a little fun watching that. I had fun making it with you guys. It was really fun drilling those big holes through that four by six pressure treated post. So, winner's got to go to Rigid, guys, just because it has, let's see, math is hard. What did I say this had? Uh, 1,900 impacts per minute, where this has 2,300. So, it's 400 more impacts per minute, but it's 50 RPMs slower. Let's put some numbers right here. There you go. Rigid retails. 229 Home Depot Bear Tool. I gave it one consumer thumb up so far. Cobalt goes for $199 at Lowe's for the kit, so you get a standard slow charger and the high output four for $199. It's on sale. But the Cobalt did cut out with using the standard battery, and it was significantly slower with the standard six, not using the four. Um, definitely I do some more testing with the Cobalt to see if she's worthy or not. Uh, so far, I gave it half a thumb up just because of the stalling out where this doesn't stall out at all. That's all I got for you guys. If you want to watch more, check out this video right here. See ya!